Hello, kittens. Hello, viewers. Hello, Marge. You want some? You want food, huh? You want food. How about some cod and tuna for you? And kitten food for the kittens. Up in the way, of course. And so is Chunky, too. Okay, we got some cleanup to do first. Who made this monster poop? Okay, let's turn it over. Maximize usage. That one looks like a smear. Who stepped in poop? And who's walking on me right now? Okay, Patty's clean. Mo is clean. Maggie's clean. Kang or the carrier is clean. Kang is clean. I'll feed you guys after the weigh-in. <sighs> Careful there, Patty. Okay.
I'm watching chat. I saw Maggie eating the dry food earlier several times. Did anybody else eat dry food? Yeah, these socks were knitted by a viewer because my feet tend to get cold. So nobody saw anybody but Maggie eating dry food? I'm not going to reset since it's only an hour away from one. Thank you, Marty. Yeah, I saw Kang eat the other day. Okay, I'm pulling up their weight chart. Merry Christmas, everyone. Happy holidays. Happy Thursday. I spent most of the day at my parents. Or pretty much the whole day since I woke up. Okay, the kittens are 33 days old, 4 weeks, 5 days. Someone's out in the hallway filing their complaint. Probably Dorian. My allergy's been acting up. Okay, yesterday Maggie weighed 16.2 ounces. They're all over one pound except for Kang, and Kang is really close, close to it. So uh, Maggie gained half an ounce, now weighs 473 grams, up from 459. Okay, Akura, where are you? There you are. Okay, yesterday Akura weighed 16.7 ounces. Sixteen point six today. It's not unusual for their weights to fluctuate once they're transitioning to wet, dry food. Kang wants to be weighed. So Akira lost point one ounce, now weighs four seventy one down from four seventy three. Yesterday, Kang weighed 15.8 ounces. Today, she weighs 16.5. So 
So Ken gained 0.7 ounces, now weighs 468 grams, up from 448. Are you trying to change her weight, Akura? You going to push up from the bottom of the scale? Okay. Hello, Mo. Nope, you're Patty. Got to look at the legs. Okay, today Patty weighs. Let's see. Hold on. Yesterday Patty weighed 17 ounces. Today she weighs 17.3. So she gained 0.3 ounces. Now weighs 490 grams, up from 482. Okay, Mo, it's your turn. Yesterday, Mo weighed 17.8, 17.6. So Mo lost 0.2 ounces. Now weighs 499 grams, down from 505. Again, that's fine. He had he gained a full ounce two days ago. So. That's not a concern. And he's been doing a lot of big gains. And, and again, the weight tends to fluctuate once they're transitioning to wet dry food. Hush! You're not coming in here. Okay, now I'm going to move the scale out. And introduce the water bowl. Now, kittens will try to sniff the water, and they'll inhale a, a trace amount of it, which will make them sneeze. This is normal. She sniffed the water, but didn't sneeze. If you're watching chat and you're wondering about the Val or Valentina references being made, she's a previous kit, previous foster of mine that, when introduced to water, got mad at it and attacked it. She sniffed it, sneezed, got a little bit of water on her, so which it made her mad. She hissed at the water swatted it as hard as she could and splashed water on her which made her mad and she growled and was about ready to go at it again and I had to pull her away for her own safety. <laughs> oh, Curry licked the water. Links have been shared to the Critterum wall and under post by others about the incident. It's hard to see but it's there. Wow. 
always wait to introduce water until they get their balance. And there's the sniff and there's the sneeze. And another sneeze. Sniff. Sneeze. <laughs> and there's her sneeze. This is how they learn to judge the wa where the water is. Which I could use some more. I'm trying to get my son's attention. Oh, I think he's in his bedroom. I'm not sure he'd be able to hear me. Come here. Uh, how do you need to use the bathroom? She's giving that mouth that feels funny. Meow. Water, please. Watch how mama's drinking. turn so you can see the kittens on my lap better. Yeah, the curb. First one to put her paw in the water. You can probably expect a lot of zoomies right into the water bowl. People were saying Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas. Now with a little bit of enthusiasm. Merry Christmas. That's better. Like One that. way to tell Patty and Mo apart when you can only see their backsides are like this. Patty has white leggings that go past her knee. Mo does not. Mo wears short socks. They thought that was funny. Oh yeah, they all like pennies. So what do you think, Patty? Mama getting you wet by drink, having a drink? You guys will learn to just stick your tongue in, not your whole face.
finger. Hey, Chris. What? Come here. Hand me a, uh, another bowl. Thank you. Well, are you going to lift the kitten up in it? Nope. Thank you. Thank <laughs> Most of yay. Hey, but that kitty is trying to steal mom's food. Maggie's dozing off inside the Muniverse. There you go, Patty. Patty sn sniffed and sneezed. There's room for three heads in that bowl. You guys can share. I'm going to pick up some more of this kitten food. It's not the Royal Cannon brand, but they seem to like it. And we're also going to see to find that the pate of the duck, which they all really took to in the very first introduction to food. Okay, hold on guys. Let me rough it up for you. Make it easier for your tongue to pick up. This will solve their weight loss problem.
You still got food in your boat, Mom. Another way that you could tell Mo and Patty apart is if you could see their chin. Patty has a chin strap, which holds her little, ear, little ears on. Isn't that right? Yes, it is. Mm. Later, as far as I can't say how later, I'm going to come in and just lay down and, or lean against the wall with my legs out and see if they'll fall asleep on me. And Marge doesn't have quite a full chin strap. It only goes halfway across her neck. <coughs> Don't worry if you see Mama Bunny kicking the kittens. She's teaching them discipline. Jeez, Mo, you hungry, any? I think I'm actually going to weigh you after this. Won't be an official weight. Once everyone is above 16 ounces and having gained weight for the previous two days, then I shift to weighing every other day until they're over two pounds. 
Oh, you guys ate a lot of this food. Correction. Mo, you ate a lot of this food. You got a full belly there, Mo. That's the back of Marge's head you're looking at. In case you haven't figured that out. Mom, you lost one of your whiskers. There we go. One thing you could do is to keep a whisker jar where you take the whiskers and put it in it. You'd be surprised how many whiskers will come off your cats. You want more, Maggie? Are you done? You done? Okay. Sorry, Mo. I need to get up now. I got some other things to take care of. But first, let's go ahead and we re way mo. Okay, he was. Let's see. 17.6 ounces. Now be real careful with your belly. Eighteen ounces. So we ate nearly half a pound of food, or half an ounce of food. Considering that the cans, I think, are only five ounces in weight total. The can's only three ounce. So he ate nearly a third of the can by himself. No, that's not right. Nearly a sixth of the can. <laughs> or if that's not right, a significant portion.
gonna go give my cats their Christmas dinner. Enjoy the kittens. Have a nice day.